Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. Let me introduce you to some of my friends. I have a jar of fireflies, but they're not real fireflies. I actually use science to create these fireflies. And hidden behind this picture is some electricity and a pathway for that electricity to follow. And scientists call that circuits. And that's the big idea for today. So let's take a look at how all of this works. First, let's look at our electricity. Our electricity comes from these flat batteries. Now let's look at our circuits or the pathway that, uh, that the electricity follows. You can see we don't have any wires. We're actually using flat metal tape to form our pathways. And it looks a little complicated to begin with, but we're gonna break it down and make it very simple for you to follow. So let's take a little time to explain this circuit. So our battery goes right here and folding the corner of the paper is our switch and if you follow our circuit, we have one light, two lights, three lights, and four lights in our circuit. So how do I get from this, a blank sheet of paper, to this, our finished circuit? Well, I'm gonna need a couple things. I'm gonna need a piece of paper, I'm gonna need a pencil, I'm going to need a flat battery, I'm gonna need a roll of metal tape that you can get pretty much at any hardware store. I'm also going to need these, some special LED lights that we've linked to in the video description so you know where you can get your own set of LED lights. So to start, I need to take my metal tape and cut it into strips. I'm gonna cut off a long section and now I just need to cut this down into strips. So I have my metal tape cut into strips and now I need to actually draw the circuit with a pencil and we're gonna zoom in so you can see more closely how we do this. All right, so I'm gonna start by picking a corner to be my switch. I'm just gonna fold the corner down and that's gonna be my switch. So this is where the battery's going to sit. So I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw one battery circle here and the top part of the battery is gonna to touch that. This will be my positive side. This will be my negative side because remember, Every battery has two sides, a positive and a negative side. So my battery will sit there. Now I need to draw the pathway. So I'm going to come down, come over, come up, come over. And I could really draw any path I wanted to. Now I'm gonna take the negative path, I'm gonna come over, down, over, up, and here's where I want to make sure I go right next to the other path I drew because we are going to be making what scientists call a parallel circuit. And our pathways are going to run parallel to each other, right here. And now my lights will probably go somewhere in there. So now I just need to lay down my tape to follow my pathway. So to get the little strip started, I like to just bend the corner back, back and forth, and it should pull right apart. One side is sticky, so I'm not gonna pull all the backing off. I wanna overlap the spot where my battery's going, and now just run the pathway down. When I get to a corner, what I want to do is do something called cornering. So if my pathway goes this way, I'm going to bend and angle my tape the opposite direction, fold it back on itself, and in another video we actually show you more, more detailed ways of doing this corner. Open it up a little bit, use my pencil if I need to. come to another corner, come to another corner, cut off the extra, there's one path.
So we laid down our circuit, now we need to test to see if the pathway actually works. So I put my battery into place, the negative side down, the positive side, there's my switch. I'm going to hold the light bulb, hopefully, so you can see it, so it can touch the pathways and join the pathways. And my light bulb lights up, and we have success. The one important thing to remember is that just like this battery has two sides, a positive and a negative side, our light bulb has two wires coming out of it, and one of the wires is positive, the other wire is negative. The longer wire, if I pinch them together, you can see this wire is longer. The longer wire is going to be our positive wire, and that's going to be our negative wire. Now I'm ready to attach my lights, and to do that, I'm just going to use a pencil to poke through my paper wherever I want the light bulb to go. Now when I put the light bulb in, I have to remember that the positive wire on the light bulb has to come into contact with the positive leg of my circuit. Push the light bulb through the paper, bend my wires down, and now I just want to make sure that I attach it. So here I have one wire touching the positive leg of my circuit, and here's the negative wire. To attach it, I'm just going to use a little piece of our metal tape. And then the other side. It's okay if the light bulb pops up back through. And now I'm going to use my pencil just to make sure the tape comes in contact with the wire. Now, let's check to see if it works. All right, so we have attached our first light bulb into our circuit. Now let's test it to see if it works. Put my switch on, hold it up, and it looks like our light bulb works. So we put the rest of our lights in, and you'll notice they're not all lighting up. So we have to figure out what's going on. Let's flip it over and see if we can figure out how to troubleshoot and make this thing work. So you'll notice when I just start tracing and pressing on my circuit, the lights seem to flicker. Well, that's because I'm missing the contact some of these spots. And I may need to go back over some of this run with more metal tape to see if that could actually fix our problem. So we've got some of our light bulbs working. As you can see, it's all a part of science. And whether it works or doesn't work, learning is a lot of fun when you get to do things with your hands. If you want to learn more about electricity and circuits, check out our link in the video description. Science is so cool. Thanks for watching.